This is not a chicken. It's absolutely a piece of art. If you look very carefully, you see it carries a passport. Normally, chickens are one of the most purebred animals in the world. Also, the most domesticated ones. This one, what you see over here, is a hybrid. It's a crossing between Belgium, France and England. To understand more about this project, we have to jump into history of the chicken. There is only one chicken in the world and it lives at the feet of the Himalaya. It's the red jungle foal. It spread its genes by mutation and manipulation all over the world. By human interest, we create in every country a chicken that tells something specific about this country. In a matter of fact, we create a mirror of ourselves. Let me make myself a little bit more clear. In Belgium, we have the Mechelse Kukuk, which was brought in in 1958 on the World Expo in Brussels. We were very proud to show the world this new chicken for the consumption. In France, they create the Poulet de Bresse, which is red in the head, white in the body and blue legs. It's the French flag. Actually, what we did is create a frame around a living object. I'm not sure that we can do this. That's why I started my big cross-breeding project, the Cosmopolitan Chicken Project. I started with the Mechelse Kukuk from Belgium to cross-breed with the Poulet de Brest from France. And I use this as a metaphor for our lives because it has nothing to do with the chicken itself. It's sweet. Then I went to England, I went to America with the result, I went to Germany, and now 13 years later, I presented the Mechelse Silky, the crossing with China, on the World Expo in Shanghai at this moment. We show the world again, 13 different countries generated in one chicken. It all starts in Watu, here in Belgium, on the border of Belgium and France. I mean, it comes all from the egg. And after so many years, I can present all these generations of chickens, all diverse. And what is important for me is the ring on the leg. Because for me, the ring shows that mankind is coming into this project. That's why I enlarged this ring six meter high here on the canal on the Biennale of Venice last year. Is this science? Is this biology? Is this art? For sure, I think it is art, because there are so much surprises in this project. In the beginning, there was a black rooster born on Eclipse Day. Very important for me, and now I understand exactly my position. From one kind, from one side, the chicken is giving itself to the project, on the other side it's revolting, and I'm in the middle of it. You know, I'm screaming to the project because I'm the watcher of my own project. Back to this black rooster which was born on Eclipse Day. I brought it into England, this hybrid, to crossbreed with a typical English red cap. You have to know the English red cap in the 60s was so popular that it becomes infertile by inbreeding. I brought this hybrid and let it crossbreed and it generate new chicks. I mean, the next day it was on the cover of the Times because it's better than the European Union. It's all about fertility. What am I talking about? Is this natural breeding or is this genetic engineering? I'm sure that it is the middle. It's between natural breeding and genetic engineering. That's why I also present my installations with scientific elements, like here the transparent incubator with the golden egg inside. And maybe one of the most important pictures of this whole PowerPoint presentation is this one. You see on the surface, after so many generations, you see the diversity. And that's where it's all about, diversity. And if you notice diversity on the surface, what is happening inside of this animal? With my scientific friends, we do the research on dead chickens. But also on living chickens, we assemble all the DNA to control and to see what's inside, what about the immunity, fertility.
Another project is about plastic surgery. One of my roosters lost his goal is spur. A spur is very important for a rooster because he has to impress female, of course, and he has to defend himself. With the last new technique of implants, we did an operation. And from this operation, we give him a golden spur. I mean, gold is important. Because when it is gold, the perception is that he becomes king. And that's why I present also this sculpture in the museum to give him that level. Something banal comes on top of it. My collaboration with artists starts already from 1999, where we started The Walking Egg. It's a magazine, it's a container, it's a think tank between art and science, philosophy and so on. After 10 years of collaboration, it ends in a permanent installation in a fertility clinic with the headline, this hybrid, the crossbreeding between a falcon and a chicken, the power and the strength. I believe if you bring elements together, new things can be born. Like here on the cover of Nature, they present the chicken because they think for the next 50 and 100 year is the most important animal in science. I believe that the world has to be open, transparent, and that we have to bring all elements together, like countries, um, professions, and so on. If we do that, a new generation can start. That reminds me of one of my works, which I think is very important. It's a Salvator globe. Normally, that one is on top of the church. The bowl stands for the world, the cross religion, and on top of it, there is a rooster shouting above everything. I mean, I think it's too much power for this one. He comes back in my Salvator globe into the world, and by crossing, and communication, it creates new chances. I think it is a border animal. It's transforming continuously, just like the red jungle foal who lives on the border between the jungle and civilization. It's changing. Who comes to who? Did the chicken come to us or did we come to the chicken? I mean, what does it give us? Think about food. Think about that. If it is good with the chicken, it's good with us. If it is bad with the chicken, it's bad with us. Me, in confrontation with my installation. Construction, destruction, eating the chicken. A chicken can only fly 50 meters high and 100 meters wide. It's maybe the limit that is good. Because it can come back to the earth and tell what is between heaven and earth, better than the Icarus, who burns his wings to the sun and fall down on the floor. That's, in that, I see a completely new configuration from a Salvator globe. This time it turns, and you see the women's signs coming. And is this new configuration, well, is this construction, or is this construction, or is this destruction? I believe in this one. Duality, bringing two parts together, the chicken and the egg. I believe in symbiosis. I believe if things are coming together, that is looking on the backside of the moon. There we can find new chances, things who were in the past and things who will be in the future. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I really think that every organism is looking for an other organism to survive. And the same applies to man and chicken. I thank you.